Hello edXL students, we're in paper one, paper two, still very much section B. We're now talking about the 15 mark question. This question will be a discuss question, very, very similar to the 12 marker that preceded it in section B of paper one and paper two. The breakdown, it's now three marks for knowledge, three application, three analysis. So that is nine marks in total, basically for depth of analysis with good application marked in levels and six marks for evaluation now. So even more credit for evaluation, again, marked in levels evaluation. So both analysis and evaluation depth is required to hit the highest levels. And we know this is section B, but a paper one and paper two only, uh, you're going to get a 15 marker to write right to the end, the last question in section B. Now, again, as always in section B here, it's not the number of points you write, it's the depth of writing that matters. You're not going to have a huge amount of time for this. 15 minutes is all. So don't overblow it. Don't think you can write loads and loads of points. You're just going to run out of time. You're probably not going to expand on them in detail. That's not what the examiners are looking for. They're looking for limited points but written in full detail. So I recommend two analysis paragraphs will be great. That's two KAA points if you like to look at it that way. Two KAA paragraphs, two analysis paragraphs written in detail. And then this is why you need to be savvy. It's one or two evaluation paragraphs. Again, it's not the number of points you make, it's the depth of writing. You need to work it out. If you've written one evaluation paragraph, and in your mind, it is incredible detail. There are so many links in that paragraph, so many different ways of developing it that you put down in that paragraph, then you can trust that's gonna be enough. It's depth. Even one detailed paragraph can get you six marks. Detail matters, not the number of points. But if you've written an evaluation paragraph, and in your mind, it's a little bit limited, it's a little bit short, it doesn't have so many links in that paragraph, you think it's unlikely I'm gonna be getting six here, the detail just simply isn't there, then you can write a second one. So you've got to judge it. You write your first one, see the detail that you're writing, and you have to decide, shall I write a second or not? If you've written one in maximum detail, loads of detail, you probably used up your time already. That's just what good detail will do. Whereas if you've written it quite short, you probably will have spare time for a second. But I repeat again, it's not the number of points you make that matters, it's the depth of writing that will get you into the higher levels. So your structure, you're looking for two analysis paragraphs. In both paragraphs, of course, depth of analysis is absolutely crucial. You make your point or you start with a policy and you develop it in maximum detail, as much detail as you can write in that's relevant to answering the question. You're looking for application as always in section B, you get that from the extracts. Integrate your application, integrate your example within your writing, you're good to go. And you're always thinking, is there a diagram that will illustrate what I'm writing? If the answer is yes, draw it. If there is another diagram for analysis two, a unique one to illustrate that point, then draw that one as well, draw a second diagram. If analysis two can use the same diagram as analysis one, then refer back to that diagram. You don't need to draw it again. Maybe there's no diagram for analysis two. That's absolutely fine. Be flexible with diagrams. You draw them whenever they illustrate what you're writing. Don't be rigid with the number of diagrams you think you always need to draw. But it's depth of writing. It's application that's absolutely crucial. Two paragraphs there done properly. That should be your nine marks, nice and secure. And then your evaluation paragraph. Again, you're making an evaluation point, but you're developing it in maximum detail, as much detail as you can. You're applying by using the extracts, integrating that within your evaluation paragraph. Again, you're being flexible with diagrams. Is there a diagram that can illustrate your evaluation point? If there is, then draw it. If there isn't, don't worry about it. And then you're thinking by the end, is that lots and lots of detail? Is that likely to get me a high level? Is that likely to get me five or six here? In which case, stop there. You're probably out of time anyway with your 15 minutes. But if you're thinking it's very short, this isn't gonna get me six marks, there's not enough detail, you can write a second one. But again, trying to write in as much detail as you possibly can. You've gotta be flexible in working out the number of points. Remembering though that depth matters here, not uh, the number of points. Depth of writing is crucial. 15 minutes, it's actually quite a simple essay. They're all supposed to be simple in section B. That's how you do the 15 marker. But stay tuned for the next video. We move now to the big 25 marker in paper one and paper two. Crucial that you watch that video. Lots of advice coming your way. Thank you for watching this. I'll see you in that 25 mark video.